All gun owners shopping for a new revolver want to know and constantly ask themselves which is the most accurate on the market. To help you out, we've compiled a comprehensive list of the five revolvers only carried by champions. Stay tuned to the end of the video because these revolvers are the best ones out there. As a competition revolver, the Ruger GP100 Match Champion is 357 Magnum and is a good contender. Analyzing the characteristics incorporated into this model make it pretty clear that it's podium and range ready. This is now the company's greatest offering of a revolver with nearly custom shop quality. There are 4.2 inch barrel, 357 Magnum stainless steel revolvers with textured Hogue wood grips that are extremely similar to the vintage duty revolvers, but some have contemporary improvements. Any shooter can easily find their target and feel secure thanks to the sturdy handle of the unique Hogue stippled hardwood grips. Historically, Ruger has been seen more of a as more of a utilitarian revolver manufacturer who produces a reliable product at a reasonable price. However, fit and finish may not be as excellent as some other manufacturers. Compared to the conventional GP100s and the Security 6 series that the GP supplanted in the late 1980s, the Match Champion is it's aesthetically beautiful. Even with the shielding partially obscuring the fiber optic rod, the front side still catches enough light to be useful in most lighting situations. It sports a triple locking cylinder for better alignment and a green fiber optic front sight with adjustable rear sight. 357 Magnum cartridges can be fired from it, and the recoil is substantially milder. You have a revolver in the 38 Special that can be used for competitive shooting, hunting, and self-defense all in one. Given that they're frequently found accessible below that price point, the benchmarked MSRP of $969 ought to be tolerable for the majority of consumers. The Ruger GP100 Match Champion 357 Magnum revolver is on our list due to its reasonable quality and its straightforward maintenance. This revolver may be disassembled without the use of special tools, which is a massive advantage for modifications or general cleaning. Additionally, the MSRP of around $1,000 is really good for most consumers because it offers a low barrier of entry into a potentially expensive and addictive activity. The Smith & Wesson Performance Center Competitor 686357 Magnum Revolver whoo, numbers was designed primarily for competition, as the name implies. This is a revolver from their Performance Center, where they make everything high-end. The Performance Center, a sub-brand of Smith & Wesson, has released two new model 686 revolvers, with a 4-inch barrel and the other with a 5-inch barrel. That'll suit you whether you're dedicated of a wheel gun competitor or just someone who prefers to carry a revolver for defense. The Performance Center is Smith & Wesson's in-house custom facility, staffed by pistol smiths with decades of experience. The Model 686 has been in production since 1980. It's remedied the issue that cops were encountering with the Smith's K-frame rifles and 357 Magnum. The new Performance Center 686s are equipped with stage triggers. They reference to the popularity of shooting revolvers in competition. The double-action trigger can be pulled to the point just before it releases the hammer. Held there, staged, and then fire with just a little additional pressure. Some shooters prefer to do it this way, while others prefer to just pull straight through. And the beauty of the stageable trigger is that you can do it either way. This revolver will keep you on target better and faster thanks to its barrel, and it has an adjustable weight designed to control recoil and preserve your sight picture throughout repeated shooting. With a weight of 55.4 ounces, the Smith & Wesson Performance Center Competitor 686 357 Magnum is extremely solid and a low recoil option. For most individuals, the $1,439 asking price is, well, a lot. But if you want to go into competitive shooting, you might consider even more expensive choices, so it's not that bad. Due to the fact that we could just recently purchase the North Korea brand of firearms, they don't receive much press in the United States. Now that the Nighthawk Custom is importing them, customers have access to a vast array of expensive weapons. In every way, the Korth Super Sport 357 Magnum lives up to the standards of high-end as you can see from its specifications, this revolver was built without any cost consideration. The Korth Super Sport is based on the National Standard Revolver, which features an ejector receiver that extends up to the muzzle that looks similar to the Smith & Wesson M586-686 at first appearance. The steel-framed grip on the Korth National Standard and Super Sport matches the s &WL receiver in a round butt design. As a result, it comes with the option of using any of the many plastic or wooden grip plates available on the market today. The jacket with an underlug that extends the length of the barrel provides weight and a top-heavy touch. The German revolver is distinguished by the rounded muzzle section projecting from the jacket at the end of the stainless steel barrel. Lothar Walther created the barrel, which has a six-sided semi-polygon inner profile with one, 
two 50mm rifling. When compared to a Colt Python with one 356mm rifling or a Smith & Wesson 686 with one 476mm, the rifling choice appears to be a touch short. However, this could be advantageous, particularly when shooting loads in 38 Special or 9mm Luger with small bullets and low velocity. Other characteristics of this masterfully built handgun include the DLC finish on all metalwork, a soft rubber hogue grip that many of us should be familiar with, and plenty of Picatinny rails. This revolver has a futuristic or Terminator-like appearance because of the three distinct rail facings that are immediately recognizable. If you are interested, the MSRP for this Black Swan is roughly… well, it's, it's not small, it's $4,799. Dan Wesson revolvers have long been distinctive due to their interchangeable barrels, which can be swapped out with the assistance of a gunsmith. With the interchangeable barrel system, one frame may be used for a variety of purposes. From snobby to 10-inch compensated hunting barrel with rail, the Dan Wesson model's excellent accuracy contributed to its outstanding reputation. This innovative barrel arrangement is claimed to boost accuracy in addition to the usual things like tight tolerances and careful machining. The shroud tensions the barrel, tightening that nut pulls the barrel forward, keeping it under tension and thus locking it solid. Cylinder alignment is also vital. The Dan Wesson adds some distinctive touches in addition to the standard safety features like tight locking mechanisms and precisely fit parts. The cylinder release latch is located on the frame in front of rather than behind the cylinder. They say that this allows for a more secure lockdown. Furthermore, the placement keeps it out of the way of your thumb while shooting. The detent resembles a locking block made of stainless steel more than a tiny ball bearing. The cylinder on this revolver revolves clockwise to relieve stress on the crane lock, which also rotates clockwise. This contributes to the revolver's total service life by increasing its integrity, which is noteworthy because a competitive revolver may fire substantially more rounds than other pistols you may own. The Dan Wesson 7 15 357 Magnum revolver is so good because of small, frequently overlooked details like these. Tracker revolvers are an excellent choice for target shooting, personal protection, and outdoor use. The new handgun offers a significant edge. The 692 is an additional cylinder chambered a 9mm Luger. This allows the operator to use 38 Special and 357 Magnum cartridges in one cylinder and 9mm Luger cartridges in the other. Spent cases must be removed one at a time since the 9mm doesn't have any cartridge case rim that extends to the ejector star. Moon clips are also provided by Taurus for simple loading and unloading. Given that 9mm is the most widely used handgun caliber in America, many shooters are going to want to utilize a revolver in that capacity. But there is no doubting that the 357 Magnum's got superior power. It has the potential to devastate anybody who is wounded by it. Double action revolvers were formerly impractical for a variety of reasons. It seemed impossible to attach each crane and cylinder to the revolver while maintaining the barrel cylinder spacing and timing. Taurus managed to get it right in a certain way. In the past, a revolver cylinder could be removed by unscrewing a frame screw. In order to make an easy change, Taurus has a plunger on the right side of the frame that's depressed. Surprisingly, each cylinder is timed correctly and the barrel cylinder gap remains tight even after the cylinder has been replaced. There are no mistakes because each cylinder is labeled with a caliber. This revolver has strong post front sights and high quality, fully adjustable rear sights. In the double action mode, the trigger moves smoothly. Clean and precise trigger press with one action. So how about targeting that red low shiny subscribe button to assess its accuracy? Don't shoot your computer screen, please. I, you know what, that didn't sound, that's not smart now that I think about it. Well anyways, now that you've seen the most accurate revolvers, why not check out these computer revolvers, which are far superior in both appearance and performance. Check out this video to learn about the top 8 Ruger revolvers. I'll see you there.